Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the new release from Bulgari in their Omnia range. And it is their new limited edition version by Mary Catron Zhu who is a fashion designer who they've collaborated with on a clothing line and she also has made this limited edition perfume and they've repackaged some of the other Omnia's as well with um, beautiful packaging that matches this. So I'm going to be giving you my first impressions, let you know what it smells like. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. We are all about perfumes here. I have hundreds of other videos. I'm going to do a video on the Omnia range, an updated one. I have a really old one. I'll do a new one on the ones that are available now. So when that's done, I'll link that down below. And as always, I'll link where you can buy this perfume um, down below in the description box as well for UK, um, Europe, North America, um, if it's available everywhere yet. And if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And don't forget you can subscribe as well for exclusive content. Cool, so Bulgari is one of my favorite brands at the moment for perfume and just in general. I think they make beautiful, beautiful things. And all of their fragrances tend to be really classy and their bottles tend to be really beautiful. I have to say, I think this is my favorite bottle from Bulgari ever. If you are a collector of bottles, then this could well be one that you need to add to your collection. The Omnia range always come in these kind of like shell bottles, but this limited edition has these rainbow colors all over it. All the other ones are all just one color. And I think it looks so cool. Um, it's like a rainbow mysterious shelf beings that you'd find at the bottom of the ocean somewhere very tropical. I think it looks absolutely lovely. And then you basically just press it down. The packaging is really lovely as well with these really colorful flowers on. I really like this. And these are the flowers that they've put on the packaging of two, I think, of the other Omni ones, but they haven't changed the bottle or the fragrance of those. It's just a packaging thing. And I do understand that this is limited edition. I don't know how long it'll be around for, but it, um, I guess not long. It says made in Italy, which is interesting. And yeah, I really love the bottle. In terms of what it smells like, I actually really love the fragrance as well. It's quite different to the other Omnias in the range. I'd say this is a floral fragrance. It's primarily gardenia and there's some orange blossom in here as well. You guys know I love orange blossom, but it also has fig leaf in um, and that's really coming through which gives this a slightly green but quite unusual vibe to it as well which I really like. It smells very classy floral in my view and definitely a spring summer or a daytime smell. It smells kind of slightly mysterious otherworldly that orange blossom gives you but it doesn't smell heady or heavy as if, um like a white floral with jasmine does instead it smells delicate and pretty and it definitely definitely smells expensive um it's not massively expensive perfume i think it's about 60 or 70 pounds and it just comes in this one full size which i think oh it's 65 mil so it is fairly pricey but it smells so nice. Fig leaf is so unusual. If you like the perfumes from Hermes in their Jardin range, it kind of reminds me of that with a sort of outside, almost like an ivy feel, but it's not heavy or sometimes ivy can be a bit mm, heady and overwhelming. It's not like that. It's got these fresh flowers to it as well. I think there is maybe a hint of mandarin orange in there at first, but really what you get is the gardenia, the orange blossom and the fig leaf. So it creates quite an unusual, um, something that not other mainstream fragrances really smell like. So it would definitely stand out compared to other people. I can imagine people would be curious as to what that was. Um, so I really like this for the Omnia range. I wish they would keep it forever because it is a beautiful smell. Um, definitely classy, definitely interesting and nice for the daytime. 
In terms of longevity and projection, I found that the projection on this was really good. I could really smell it on myself. I felt like I had this really expensive cloud of perfume around me. And then it lasted maybe three or four hours. It's an eau de parfum, but it's not super heavy. Um, I'd say it just lasts normally, like you would expect from any normal mainstream perfume. Um, they usually last about four hours on me. So pretty, pretty good, but I think if anything, the bottle is the best thing about this. Like, it's so cool. So guys, let me know, have you managed to try this yet? I know it's not available everywhere yet. Let me know what you think of it and what your favorite is from the Omnia range. And like I say, I will leave the link to that Omnia video when I've done it down below. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.